It's Nick's Psychotronic History of Sci-Fi. The Moon is a Harsh Mistress is the classic novel of a lunar revolt. It tells the story of Manny, a computer technician on a colony of the moon who begins plotting with a computer that has become sentient. This mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it. No, not like that. In this case, the computer wants to help the humans on the moon as he realizes Earth is hogging all of the moon's resources. This keeps up. The loonies, as they're called, will start eating each other in a few years. They get together and write a declaration of independence and it has about the same effect as that last one. The story is actually based more on the Russian Revolution than the American, but hey, a little revolt now and then is a good thing, right? It was originally called the Brass Cannon, named for an old antique Heinlein bought one day and had lying around his house. This was the last of Heinlein's truly great works, the last of his Hugo winners and the beginning of his very libertine themes. Of course, he had already been writing about them in works such as Stranger in a Strange Land, but they're on display even more prominently here, if not as well done. I like Stranger better. Bite me. It was right before he had a stroke and veered off into the left field of drugs, sex, and rock and roll, with his character Lazarus Long in novels like Time Enough for Love and To Sail Beyond the Sunset. I'm sorry if you really like those novels, but to me, they're just signs of Robert devolving into a dirty old man as his body and something else gave out on him. Oh well, at least we still have the classics, right? We should best enjoy them before darkness is closed on us with the left hand.